When I started these videos about 10 months ago, I did it because I had one show going up and didn't know what was coming. Then I had another show, then another, then another, then another. If you told me a year ago that this year I'd have five productions and at one point be paid to perform and then at another point be paid to be a writer, I'd call you crazy. This was my best year as an artist. A year a lot of artists might dream about. I got to tell stories about religion, about art, comedic stories about auditions and employment, and for the first time on stage I got to tell my story. Do these mean anything more than credits on a resume? I don't know, time will tell. In the meanwhile, it's been a good year, and I go into the next one with no idea what's going to come next, just like at the start of this year, just like the year before and the year before that. But the important part is to remember what you saw along the way, what you experienced, where you've been, what you've done, and especially the people you meet. You never know who's going to make a difference in your life. The friend of an ex-girlfriend, the girl who passed the time in your office, the classmates who needed a lift, the student you barely knew. Some have common interests, some have common dreams, some never give up. I've had my faith shaken, my nerves rattled, my heart broken in ways few others can imagine. And that only means one thing. I still have stories to tell. And I honestly believe that as long as you keep interesting and amazing people in your life, there will always be stories to tell. So here's to your stories, a year of shows, a year of hopes and dreams, and the many more to come. Thank you to those who made this year worthwhile. And until next year, see you, interwebs.